today the Tacoma gets a new grill. Welcome back everyone. I hope you guys are all staying healthy and safe. Today I've got a super short video for you guys as we're going to be replacing the grill on my 2019 TRD off-road Tacoma. Now as some of you guys may know, the first mod I did on my Tacoma was replacing the OEM chrome grill with the TRD Pro Style grill. Now the main reason I did that was because I did not like the chrome grill on the OEM truck and we went with the TRD Pro Style because it was matte black. Now, I've had the TRD Pro Style grill on my truck for over a year, and it was just time to change. So I decided to go with this TRD, what they call off-road style grill. Essentially, it's kind of a replica for the 2020 Plus, and it comes in a matte black. One thing also to note is this grill does come with LED lights. However, they're easily removable with just removing the screws on it. Now, in this video, I'm not going to be doing a full in-depth install video. Rather, this will be a review on this grill and more importantly addressing an issue that I've read online a lot. Essentially a lot of people are having issues with their TSS sensor once they install this grill. Now if you guys are looking for a video on how to install a grill on the 2019 or I should say third gen Tacomas, you can see my previous video I did on the TRD Pro Style grill. It's the same exact process with this one. Now to talk about this grill, overall I'm pretty stoked on it. I love the fact that it is a matte black. And as I mentioned, it does have the LED lights, but they're easily removable. So probably in the next you know, couple of months, I'll pull those off just to switch it up a bit. As far as insulation, it was a breeze. Essentially, this is just like the OEM grill. So everything went together fairly easily. Now, the one thing I do want to address is the issue that people are having with the TSS sensor and I had it as well. So essentially, this grill does come with its own little Toyota emblem. I threw that guy in. I took the truck out and of course, we got some errors. Essentially, the adaptive cruise control or the radar were not working with the emblem. So essentially, what my fix was, it was very simple. I just pulled out this emblem that came with the grill and I just threw in my OEM one and it fixed the problem right away. Now, these emblems are only held on by four clips, so it's very easy to pull them in and out. As I said, this is a super short video. I hope you guys found it informative. Also, keep in mind, um, if you do have a 2020 Plus, um, you might not be able to pull your emblem off, so you might be able to, you might have to find an earlier model um, for the emblem. Um, in that case, it'll probably be cheaper for you guys just to pull your OEM grill off and just maybe painting in black or going with another uh, model. Well, that's it for this video today. I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you next time. See ya.